Welcome back to Channel Sport this morning to Kumbo Ademola Talks. Ademola Sports Analyst uh, joins us now uh, to talk about Nigeria's D-Tigres and exploits in Spain at the FIBA Women's uh, Basketball World Cup. So, Kumbo, it's great to have you on the show. Always a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Right. Before we go into, yeah, you know, the, uh, the fantastic uh, exploits of the D-Tigres in Spain, let, let's, let me get your thoughts uh, quickly uh, on the Ryder Cup. Uh, which is going to tee off tomorrow. Uh, Europe taking on America. America uh, defending champions. Uh, Europe trying to reclaim uh, the title. The Americans have won, haven't won on, on foreign soil since 1993. What are you expecting uh, from the competition? Well, you said the important factor that uh, the U.S. haven't won on uh, uh, European soil, you know, since, uh, what, 25 years, you know. So uh, that home advantage mm. is a big factor in favor of the Europeans. Um, I'm hoping that uh, Sergio Garcia at his best turns up because, you know, he was a wild card pick and uh, yeah. he really hasn't, um, he was captain's pick and he really hasn't been performing well this no. season at all. If he performs at his best, that's definitely a factor mm -hmm. uh, for uh, the Europeans. Um, however, U.S. do have a super team, you know. Uh, I mean, even two of their captain's picks are ugly amongst the 10 best golfers of all time, you know. So um, and, uh, all of their players are ranked in the top 25 in the world. So the U.S. have a super team, youth, experience, you know, uh, you know, different styles of play. So right. it's, it's really, you know, I, I think the U.S. are the better team. However, home court advantage, okay. you know, um, it's, I, I, I can't call it. I can't call it. I can't call it. It's right. uh, so tight. <laughs> Let me throw this in before, before good basketball. Uh, you, you listen to um, Beyond, uh, the, uh, you know, the Europe, Europe Ryder Cup captain. captain. Do we have any other dogs? I think it's a contest between two, uh, two, two teams that are, almost on the same level, but, you know, trying to train talks about, eh, we don't care if we're underdogs and stuff. You think it's just mind games or something? I think it's partly mind games, and I think these are two, uh, two, these are two super teams, you know, there's really no underdogs really here, mm -hmm. but I think the advantage, you know, defending champions, you know, is, is just slightly in the U.S. favor, you know, however, they like I said, on court advantage, you know, so... All right, yeah, so on court, yeah. perhaps, All right. perhaps that will, what will get the job done uh, for Team Europe. Uh, but we'll find out uh, by the time we're coming on. So this is going to be three, two days of um, fantastic uh, golfing action at the Ryder Cup uh, in Paris. Let's move on to basketball now, where Nigeria's the Tigress has advanced into the quarterfinals of the FIBA Women's World Cup uh, in Spain yesterday. Uh, they took on Greece and was a nail-biter of a game. Very close one that went down to the wire, but Nigeria eventually prevailing 57-57. Uh, to 56 uh, in that game. There were other matches that were played uh, as well to a qualification round for the quarterfinals. Uh, this one got a lot of people worried because the girls won two games in their group B. In normal situations, that should be enough to get you know, into the quarterfinals, right? But FIBA rules uh, meant they had to play third in group A. Okay, that's fine. The girls went and played Greece and still won the game. Well, let's start with Spain taking on Senegal. Unfortunately uh, for Senegal, um, it's the end of the road uh, for them. Uh, they took on Spain. Very unlikely they were going to win that game because Spain are, are superpowers uh, when it comes to basketball. 63-48. The Senegalese actually started very well in that game, but they just couldn't. Uh, they ran out of gas uh, eventually. China against Japan. That's, uh, that's a derby. 87-81 uh, in favor of China. No surprises there for me as well. To France, 78-61 over Turkey. End of, the road, end of the road for the Turks. Uh, Nigeria, 57 56 against Greece, and that was just enough uh, to see Nigeria through to the last eight for the first time ever. Very, very historic uh, feat, you'd say. Uh, Tokumami, you weren't expecting this when the girls were going to the walk away. No, I, I don't. Maybe generally people weren't expecting it, but I've always, you know, had a high level expectation right. of our basketball teams. You know, I always believe that we should be up there in terms of, you know, um, I mean, okay, of course, they're the obvious of Australia, mm. Spain, USA. USA, you know, but when it comes to, you know, uh, top teams in the world of basketball, I always feel that we should be up there. Mm. We have the talent, mm. you know, uh, and I, like I, said, I get excited, you know, when it's uh, I mean, next to the football team or our relay teams, the next national it's team basketball. I get excited about is basketball. Really? So, you know, um, I, I, yeah, I mean, to me, it's a long time coming. I'm glad mm. that they're, you know, Greece, we should be able to do this. And it was very close. And uh, the ladies came through. So, yes, we're proud of them, yes. During those uh, Navy moments uh, in the game, I guess you were following, mm -hmm. uh, at any point, did you, uh, were you feeling that we, we might just bungle it? <laughs> 
Uh, well, we've had a history of bungling things in the past, you know, so yeah, but, uh, you know, this is basketball and we were still in there, and, you know, and it's a team which I've always felt that we're capable of beating, you know, I mean, you know, if you're dealing with the USA's and Australia's, mm. you, know, you have to worry, you know, but this is a team that I felt that, you know, they couldn't get too far away from us in points, you know, that there was always within arm's reach of us. Mm. So, Interesting. Yeah. Now, the ladies eventually got the job done, and one lady uh, in particular uh, on the day, uh, you know, shown like a million stars uh, for Nigeria. Uh, that person is uh, Evelyn uh, Akato. Uh, she was on fire in the game, contributed a great deal. I mean, look at the stats uh, from the game. 14 points, 13 rebounds, 2 assists, 4 steals and 1 block. That's how you stuff the start sheet. I mean, you can't expect much more uh, from a basketball player. Evelyn Akato, top performer from that game between Nigeria and Greece. Oh yes, she was on fire. You said all factors, points, rebounds, assists, yeah. steals, blocks. Everything she was there for us. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. So that's it. Uh, Nigeria, they threw uh, to the World Cup quarterfinals uh, for the first time. Now it gets very, very tough. Now Tricky. it gets a lot <laughs> tougher because our uh, next stop for Nigeria wow. is going to be the United States wow. of America. First of all, Canada will take on Spain, Australia will take on China, Belgium versus France, and the USA versus uh, Nigeria. This game's that will go down. Uh, tomorrow, everyone is saying, okay, that's end of the road for Nigeria. Even now. before we start the courts, <laughs> I, I, have, I have many of them, or many of those, uh, you know, doubters, let me put them that way, doubting Thomas is in the building as well, so that feel uh, it's the end of the road. There's no chance in hell that Nigeria would beat the United States of America, two-time defending champion, and arguably the best basketball team in the world, male or female. Of course, we're talking about the female team now. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, definitely this is the USA and, you know, I, yeah, I don't see us beating them. But however, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to go and give it our best fight. You know, you just don't go to a fight, you know, knowing the person's wrong just to get beat up. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to give it your all and know that, OK, I did my best, you know, and I progressed, you know. So um, but yeah, the USA are definitely going to uh, dominate us, you know, and particularly, you know, um, a team just like Australia where you have highly skilled players that are from the okay, WNBA. Okay, WNBA and also the height in the mm -hmm. middle. I mean, uh, Australia had that uh, Liz Cambridge, she's six foot eight. Yeah. They've got Brittany Grinder, six foot nine. Yeah. And these, <laughs> they're not just tall, they're skilled players. So Correct. in the center, they're going to beat us up. You know, there's no question about oh. it. But, you know, um, we just have to, uh, you know, give it our best shot, you know, and that's all the, the ladies can do that know that, you know, you know, we tried and we progressed, you know, mm. and we, we, we put up a fight, you know. Mm. Um, I said, I, I think it's still traumatic for Nigerians from that uh, 2012 London, right? London yeah, where London uh, they demolished the men's team. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's still very painful, you know, every time uh, Nigeria plays USA, whether it's male or female, you know, mm. but have a, you know, let's just give it our all, not, not go down like London 2012, you know. So. <laughs> the damage limitation you're exactly, talking about Exactly, exactly, yes, it is. So, so in, yeah. in any of the scenarios, you're not seeing a win for us? Come on, I mean, let's, let's, let's be realistic, you know, um, uh, let's all the US players get injured tomorrow, I don't, I don't see it happening, you know, but I have a, you know, we, you know, keep our heads high and, you know, give it our best fight, that's, that's fight. sports for us, you know. That's, okay. That's the way it is. So that, that's the best we could Wish them all the best. Surely, surely. <laughs> that, that's the best uh, that can be done uh, in this situation. All right, let's um, come home now and, and take a look at the ITO Cup. Let's take a look at the results, uh, see some of the games and, uh, you, you know, let Tokes uh, give us his views on some of them. Uh, I'm very sure it's going to come up uh, very soon. Uh, that's it. We think it's center by center. And on day two, uh, Julius Atete uh, lost to play to United. Uh, this is the first game in this, first set of matches in this group that has uh, a Yimba. Of course, Yimba won their game as well. If you say Casino United, a goal from Sunday at DTG uh, was enough for them. Plateau United uh, defeating Julius Atete 3-1. Uh, uh, in Group B, Sunshine Stars played a one-all draw uh, with El Kanemi Rangers International. Also played a one-all draw with Supreme Court on day two. It was draws galore in Group B. Well, in Group C, it gets interesting. That's a Lagos um, Lagos Center, Cano Pillars, that's why we need their first game, lost this one. Uh, Abia Warriors are, are back in it, they lost their first game, but they won this 2-1. Then Quara United did what a lot of people expected them to do, won this game, and by because of this result, uh, you want to say they are true to the next round, 1-0 victory over Wiki Torres. And in uh, the last um, uh, group, also, you have Kogi United losing to Aqua United. Uh, Victor Mboma getting to go for Aqua United. So Aqua United 2, uh, 
are through to the next round. Uh, the others will, you know, vie for the second spot. And of course, Nassau United uh, beating their opponents uh, right there. Uh, interesting results. Some fermentation, some, some of the highlights. Pictures, yeah, that, that's the game there. Uh, Choir United, for me, have been the uh, mm -hmm. surprise uh, team of this particular competition. When you uh, put them alongside uh, Canopolis and Rivers and Abia, you, th you think normally uh, they should be the whipping side of the group. All the other teams in the... Even some of us here just said Pillars, Rivers, United. Straight away. Like without, it, without a game. <laughs> but there you have it now. They've won two games in a row now and they're virtually uh, through to the next round of the competition. Um, folks? Well, it shows the competition is good. You know, yeah. Because, you know, um, you're seeing either draws or wins by one goal. So Narrow nobody's matches. blowing anybody else out. So yeah. it's a good competition. All good right. competition. Now, we also saw action, second action yesterday that was in the... Uh, uh, still in Lagos, mm -hmm. uh, Abia Warriors are uh, defeating Pillars. Pillars. Redemption. Mm. Redemption. Because I, I thought Pillars um, were the strongest side in that group. Mm. You know, and they have a couple of players already in the Super Eagles. Uh, mm. Delight, Ojuna Lokosa, Rabi Ali, uh, some of them. But I don't know what happened in this game. Whatever happened, I, I don't understand. They lost. So they have to make it right uh, in uh, the, the, the next game. And that's, that's the score line uh, for uh, that game. All right, so let's uh, take some reactions uh, from this set of matches. Uh, let's listen to uh, the Abia Warriors manager, Emmanuel Deutsch, uh, what he has to say uh, immediately after his team uh, just claw their way back into the competition. The pitch will give us the reality. Thank you. Only the pitch. I'm not the god. I'm not the magician. The pitch and the player, the, the, the 11 player, the 22, the best win. That's all. Yeah, for 10 years, I told them that uh, Kano Pillars uh, is not the team that we cannot win. I just sacked the player, bring them right down. Say, no, we lose 5-1. That's the worst, worst defeat that I've ever, I, I never get for my, for my life, for my football history. And that's the worst defeat that Abia will never get. But for watch all those things, we we'll have to come back today strongly and win this match. A win for the fans, not for me. Thank you. All right. All right, so uh, uh, Emmanuel Deutsch, former hotline manager now, uh, Abia Warriors, um, you know, talking about the game and how it also uh, went down. Uh, yeah, they're, they're back in the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's the, that's the most important thing. What a nice way to rebound after that. Uh, they uh, got their hands bumped in the yeah, first game, 5-1. Yeah, and, yeah and, you know, scandalous. Yeah, and so yeah. I guess they were, they were very, very determined to, to win that um, second uh, and they've game. They've done that. They've mm -hmm. done just that. Let's, let's, Quire United coach? Quire United, yeah. Quire United, uh, for me, is a surprise uh, package. All these uh, competitions so far in the Lagos Center, uh, the coach uh, Abubakar Bala, uh, even though they've qualified uh, for uh, the next round, uh, she still wants to win the remaining game. Most important thing is about the mentality of the players. It has been totally changed from uh, the level they are to, be, to let them believe in themselves, themselves that they can do it. They don't belong to where they were before and they can make it to the top. We will change their mentality and with every support of the management, in terms of motivation and other financial benefits, that is pushing the world forward. Like we said, we, are, we have mapped out our plan, we have our target. My personal target last season, my, my, my uh, motion last season was at the finals of the ATA Cup. This season, I want to surpass the last, last season record. All right, that's the coach of uh, Choir United, uh, Abu Bakabala, obviously uh, satisfied uh, with his team's uh, performance uh, at the ITU Cup Lagos Center. It's time to go for uh, a break now. We'll come back. We'll be looking at what happened to Liverpool yesterday night against Chelsea, how they lost their 100% start to the season. <laughs> 